Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Puppet Playtime character concept series. Also, apologies for my nose, my uh, my cat accidentally scratched my nose, so that's why I have a big mark on my nose. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Owen the Oven. So we'll go into this character's backstory, location, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that this story is not necessarily linked to the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. This is just a fun what-if scenario and a cool story we get to tell, and we hope you enjoy. Also, we will state that we are going on a bit of a break of our Poppy Playtime character concept series. After this video, eventually we'll have the Poppy Playtime character concept series come back, but we're just going to take a break now just for story reasons and also to get some new fresh ideas as well. This series will most likely come back when we finally get a trailer for Chapter 3 or any new and exciting news and photos. So don't worry too much, this isn't the end of the series, we're just going to be taking a bit of a break as well. We've got some awesome new stuff planned for you, and I think you'll all enjoy it as well. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GameTube as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty everyone, well, let's get into the character concept of Owen the Oven. So in our previous video, our main protagonist had an encounter with the friendly little robots, the Bugglebots. Each of these unique little bots brought their special abilities to the table. With these abilities, they help the player through the broken down area and onto the next location. And this new location they found themselves in was the Food and Baking Technology area. Playtime Co. toyed around with the idea of interactive toys that could also double up as cooking and baking devices. Many designs were fought up in this facility, all to do with cooking and baking. But one of the most problematic toy inventions they came up with was Owen the Oven. Owen the Oven was one of the other rejected toys that we see in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. As we can see from their note, Owen was rejected as there were too many reports of children getting third degree burns. So because of these traumatic and dangerous incidents, Owen was left in the rejected toy shelves to gather dust. But little did the player know that the original Owen the Oven prototype was still lurking around this area. The original Owen the Oven was greatly disappointed that they never made it to be a mainline toy like Poppy and the others. When the news broke out that the Owen the Oven toy was far too dangerous for sale, the Owen prototype became so enraged that it almost burned down the facility to the ground and also the workers inside. Ever since that day, the cooking and baking area has been abandoned. The prospect of another baking slash cooking toy was scrapped altogether. It was deemed far too dangerous to continue any further. So now the original prototype lurks the halls, looking to burn anyone who dares to get too close. So as the player enters this new area, the first thing they see are a bunch of scorched and burnt grab packs scattered throughout. What on earth happened here? It seems there must have been some sort of struggle amongst the workers and something quite dangerous. All up the walls are scorch marks from flames. They approach a large door with a toy scanner next to it. It seems they need a specific toy to scan if they want to progress further through this area. And the toy they needed was Spenny the Spatula. This was another rejected kitchen toy that was a part of the cooking and baking playset. The playset included a number of different funny looking utensils and devices. But it seems the player needs to track down Spenny the Spatula in order to scan him to open the door. So the player sets out to find this toy spatula. They come across a room filled with a number of conveyor belts and switches. At the very top of this room, they can see resting on a shelf was Spenny the Spatula. So in order to get up to the shelf, the player needs to activate all these conveyor belts to make it up there. Belt by belt, they activate the switches and ride their way up to the top. Finally, after activating all the conveyor belts, they've reached the top. They grab Spenny's spatula when all of a sudden they hear a loud noise from down below. What on earth was that? Whatever it was, it sounded very angry. As the player looks down, they notice the whole area beneath them was on fire. The fire began to rise and increase with ferocity. There was no way they were going down there. They had to make their way through the air vents in order to escape. but they needed to be quick. As they crawled through the vents, they became increasingly hotter as the fire rose. If they stalled any longer, they would sizzle alive inside the vents. As the metal vents glowed red hot, the player finally makes it out. Fortunately, they found themselves right where they needed to be.
base scanned Spenny the Spatula and the door opened up. They quickly make their way through and escape to the next area. On the other side of this wide open area, they can see the exit. They just have to make it there safely. But there was one major problem standing in their way. It was Owen the oven. At least it looked like him. The toy oven rose from the ground as they revealed their mechanical legs from underneath. They were furious to see another worker has entered their space. They would do anything to stop them from leaving. Their stovetop lights ablaze as they charge towards the player. The player needs to desperately avoid being burnt to a crisp from Owen's large flame. With their mechanical legs, they were too fast to try and outrun to the exit. The player needs to take Owen head on. But how exactly are they going to do that? As the player quickly scans the area, they can see a number of fire sprinkler safety stations. These were here just in case any of the workers caught fire and needed to be extinguished. The player's plan was to lure Owen underneath these sprinkler stations and douse him with the water. If they did this a number of times, they would surely put out the flames. So they successfully lure Owen to the first station. They activate the station as the water rains down on Owen's flaming stovetop. It seemed to do some more damage. Just a couple more and that should do the trick. After running around and evading the flames, they successfully activate another shower. One more shower should put an end to them. As they come to the last safety shower, they notice the nozzle is missing its large sprayer. It should be around here somewhere. They just need to locate it and attach it back on. After frantically running around, they finally locate the spray head. It was sitting on a stack of boxes. After knocking the boxes over, they grab the spray head and attach it to the nozzle. They spray Owen with the water as his flame goes out and they collapse to the ground. Finally, they could now escape this area. They walk through the exit doors and move on to the next area of the factory. Who knows what they'll encounter next? All they knew is that they needed to be ready. So I think a character like Owen the Oven would be pretty cool to see. The idea of kitchen-like toys would be a pretty interesting concept as well. But as to if mob games will make a character like this in Chapter 3, we'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of Owen the Oven and what you'd like to see going forward. Alrighty everyone, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.